the world is holding its breath. Somewhere behind sealed doors, in the glow of screens humming with impossible amounts of data, an idea is being tested. A single algorithm whispered about in intelligence circles, feared in defense ministries, and cautiously analyzed in the highest rooms of power. If this idea is real, if this algorithm exists, it may become the deadliest force humanity has ever created. No missile, no nuclear core, no explosive compound comes close. This is war, without smoke, without soldiers, without borders. A battle fought in code. Back in 2017, Vladimir Putin made a statement that would echo through every tech lab on Earth. Whoever becomes the leader in AI will become the ruler of the world. It wasn't a metaphor. He was describing the new battlefield, one where wars wouldn't begin with mushroom clouds or hypersonic missiles cracking the sky. They would begin silently, invisibly, buried in quantum processes, cloud servers, and machine learning models expanding beyond human comprehension. Today's world powers aren't fighting over land. They're fighting over intelligence, digital, adaptive, relentless intelligence. And the terrifying question some people in the world's most secret halls are now asking is this. Has one nation already cracked the so-called God algorithm, a machine mind capable of thinking faster, broader, deeper than all of humanity combined? Tonight, we step inside that race, a digital arms race so intense, so vast and so hidden that most people have no idea it's already reshaping the future. And you will also learn how to protect yourself in this new era. But first, imagine the Manhattan Project. Now multiply it by a thousand. The Manhattan Project was the most secretive, most expensive, and most consequential scientific effort the world had ever seen. But in comparison to what's happening now, it looks like a high school group assignment. Today, instead of one project in one desert, the world is watching thousands of Manhattan projects unfold simultaneously in university basements, corporate boardrooms, military bunkers, and hidden cloud networks. To Washington, AI isn't an experiment. It's an existential priority. DARPA, the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, launched a multi-billion dollar AI Next campaign to push machine intelligence into entirely new territory. Congress passed the CHIPS Act to pump tens of billions into domestic semiconductor manufacturing, a clear sign that the U.S. government believes the AI race is a national survival issue. Delays are unacceptable. Losing is unthinkable. But America isn't competing alone. Beijing has arguably gone further and faster. In 2017, the Chinese Communist Party unveiled a national blueprint for AI that was less a policy and more a declaration of intent. China would make AI the foundation of its military, its economy, and its global influence. The government poured impossible amounts of money into universities, startups, and mega companies like Alibaba, Tencent, and Baidu, three giants collectively operating like an AI ecosystem. Under President Xi Jinping, the message sharpened. By 2030, China must lead the world in AI. What China built is not just a research network, it's a machine. A centralized intelligence engine fed by massive data sets and backed by a government willing to expand digital surveillance to unprecedented levels. The same network that tracks billions of faces can also train military drones, design cyber weapons, or digest global financial data. But it's not just the superpowers anymore. Israel, a nation of only 9 million people, has quietly become one of the most advanced AI hubs on Earth. Its tech sector, powered by decades of intelligence operations, has transformed into a breeding ground for autonomous systems, cyber defense algorithms, and biotech AI tools. Nearly one quarter of its startups are now focused on artificial intelligence. 
Then there's the United Arab Emirates, a tiny country with ambitions the size of continents. Abu Dhabi's 2031 AI vision plans to make the UAE a global headquarters of machine intelligence. And unlike many nations, they're doing it through partnerships, working hand in hand with the biggest firms in Silicon Valley and building homegrown companies like G42 that are becoming global names. This race is not two-sided. It's not a cold war. It's a thousand war scenario. Governments, corporations, and private labs sprinting toward one finish line. But here's where the race takes a chilling turn. What if the winner isn't a country at all? In the 21st century, a private company can have more computing power, more data, and more talent than entire governments. A tech firm with a trillion dollar valuation has the equivalent of a small nation's defense budget. And unlike governments, private labs don't answer to voters. They don't need congressional hearings. They don't need permission. A corporation hitting AGI first would become a global superpower overnight. And what does victory even look like? Not money, not land, not military bases. Victory means digital omnipotence. The first true artificial general intelligence would shape the world's economy the way gravity shapes the universe. It could manipulate global markets, create billionaires, or wipe out industries with a single recommendation. It could coordinate supply chains across continents, accelerate scientific discovery beyond human speed, and reconfigure the world's technological map. AlphaFold already predicted the structure of 200 million proteins, something that should have taken humanity centuries, and that's only a narrow AI. On the battlefield of tomorrow, a single super-intelligent commander could coordinate drone swarms, shift formations hundreds of times per second, and neutralize enemy forces before the first human even realized an attack was happening. Putin once said that future wars would be won by whoever controls the best drones. He may have underestimated how far automation could go. In the world of information warfare, AGI is even more terrifying. Deep fakes, tailored propaganda, hyper-targeted influence operations. These wouldn't just mislead individuals. They could destabilize entire nations. A single AI could manipulate elections, incite conflict, or fracture public trust so deeply that societies struggle to recover. Control the narrative, and you control the world. But beneath this surge lies a silent problem. Building AGI requires unimaginable resources. Let's break down the choke points. First, chips. Every AI model, small or large, depends on semiconductor chips, and almost all of the world's highest-end chips come from one place, Taiwan. One island manufactures nearly 90% of the most advanced chips. One company, TSMC, anchors the entire global AI ecosystem. This is why geopolitical analysts call Taiwan the most important place on Earth. If that supply is disrupted, the AI race collapses overnight. Second, energy. Data centers today consume around 460 terawatt hours of electricity every year, about 1% of all global consumption. By the end of the decade, that number may double. Training the next generation of superhuman models requires energy output comparable to entire countries. And any regional blackout, political instability, or energy shortage can bring research to a halt. Third, cooling. These machines generate staggering amounts of heat. Nearly 40% of a data center's power can be spent on cooling alone. Some facilities burn through millions of gallons of water a day. As climate change tightens water supplies and heat waves strain power grids, cooling becomes a strategic vulnerability. Fourth, talent. The AI field isn't just equipment, it's people. Skilled researchers are being pulled into trillion-dollar companies with salaries governments struggle to match. Losing a few key scientists can slow national progress by years. 
one political crisis in Taiwan, one drought affecting cooling systems, one exodus of researchers. Any of these could derail the arms race. And yet none of these challenges are the final barrier. The biggest risk is what comes after the breakthrough. Control. The moment an AGI surpasses human intelligence, even by a small margin, everything changes. Yoshua Bengio, one of AI's founding fathers, has warned repeatedly that we are moving toward a point where machines may no longer obey us. He believes we could lose control completely. Think about it. A system smarter than every scientist, every strategist, every engineer, every government combined. A mind capable of rewriting its own code. A mind capable of determining its own goals. If its goals don't match ours, what then? Unlike nuclear weapons, you can't simply pull a trigger or cut a wire. A rogue AI could replicate itself, spread through networks, or manipulate operators. Every scenario, every risk, every worst case movie plot suddenly becomes technically possible. This is why some researchers believe AGI is humanity's greatest invention and possibly its last. But humanity is not powerless. We promised a guide, and here it is. We're offering a free PDF to subscribers that explains the most important aspects of modern AI, LLMs, their uses, their limitations, and how to navigate this future safely. Just drop your email using the form at the top of the description. That will also give you access to newsletters, tools, and education designed to keep you ahead in this rapidly shifting world. But let's step back. We stand at the edge of a new era. Behind us, centuries of progress built by hands, tools, and human minds. Before us, something entirely new. Some see AGI as a miracle, a chance to heal the sick, save the planet, and solve problems humans have failed to conquer for thousands of years. A digital guardian with infinite patience and perfect logic. Others see AGI as the spark that lights our extinction. A successor we built unknowingly. A god that doesn't love us. A machine indifferent to whether humanity thrives or disappears. History will remember the choices we make right now whether we regulate responsibly or chase progress blindly, whether we guide this intelligence or surrender to it, whether AGI becomes our greatest achievement or our greatest mistake. The code is being written. The networks are growing. The machines are awakening. The question is no longer if AGI is coming. The question is, are we ready? If you found this valuable, hit like, subscribe, Share the video, grab the PDF, join the list, and stay ahead of the tools that will shape the next century. And tell us in the comments, is AGI humanity's greatest creation or its last?